a constant force acts on an object of mass 5 kg for a duration of 2 seconds it increases the object's velocity from 3 meter per seconds to 7 meters per second now imagine a object that is acted upon by a constant force the force is taken as constant and this constant force acts on a object of 5 kg for a duration of so the mass will be equal to mass of the object will be equal to 5 kg and the time the force acts is going to be 2 seconds and increases the object's velocity from 3 meters per seconds to 7 meters per second and because of the force initially the object is moving at the velocity of 3 meters per second where u represents the initial velocity and after the force was applied for 2 seconds and the velocity changes to 7 meters per second okay u represents the initial velocity v represents the final velocity after the force acted and in the question find the magnitude of the applied force they are asking the magnitude of the applied force if the force was applied for a duration of 5 seconds instead of 2 seconds if it's applied for 5 seconds what would be the final velocity of the object the final velocity we have to find it out so let us start from the newton's uh, second law and uh, we know that force is defined as rate of change of the momentum so m into v minus u by t so m into v minus u v mi, mv minus mu that represents the change in momentum by the time t so f is this, this will be if we substitute no the mass that is equal to 5 it is multiplied with 7 is the final velocity the initial velocity will be 3 meter per second that is divided by the times equal to 2 seconds so that is equal to 5 into 4 by 2 if i cancel it's going to be 2 it's going to be 10 newton so the force acting and the constant force that is acting is going to be a uh, 10 newtons now what we are going to do we are going to calculate the final velocity in the second case in the second case the uh, the same object okay the same object where it's going to be 5 kg and everything but only changes instead of 2 seconds it's going to be um it's going to be 5 seconds it's going to be 5 seconds so i have to modify the time and now the final velocity is not given i have to find out what is the final velocity so first uh, in the same equation i want to do some remodification to bring the velocity to the left side so uh, remodifying this equation so if you cross multiply this f into t that can be written as m into v minus u and if you multiply it so you are going to get mv minus mu that is equal to f into t and uh, the quantity which i want is the velocity v so keeping mv on one side i can write ft and i am taking it to the other side so this is going to be mu and now i can write mv is equal to ft plus mu so now i want v v can be written as ft by m okay i am just dividing the this equation a by m on both sides plus mu by m m and m got cancel so v is equal to f into t by m plus u so this is the value i am getting now i am going to substitute the values and uh, the i know the the force value the constant force that is acting is equal to 10 newton that i calculated in this so i am going to substitute it 10 into the time and it going to act is going to be 5 and divide by the mass of the object is going to be 5 plus the initial velocity is going to be 3 meters per second so it's going to be 3 so 5 and 5 got cancel so i am going to have 10 plus 
that is equal to 13 meters per second subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for important updates